Hey, this is Matthew from Nerd News Today, continuing our San Diego Comic-Con 2019 toy coverage. So much to see, so much to talk about. We're going to go ahead now and do a video about some of my favorites, uh, which we saw previously at Toy Fair for the first time ever, and now the line is continuing, and we're seeing it at San Diego Comic-Con 2019, and that is Overwatch, which is a Blizzard shooter game, a lot of fun, and the toys are just as fun as the game is. So, of course, San Diego Comic-Con is happening right now, and we're taking a look at what was shown off during previews night, so... There might be future things that are announced that happen after this video is recorded. We'll get to those in a future video, most likely, where we do a recap of whatever we missed. But for now, we're going to take a look at the announcements for what was new coming from Overwatch by Hasbro. So here we go. This is just a quick shot of the booth itself. So they weren't showing off, you know, in tons of enormous amounts of toys, but there is a bunch of new stuff here you can see. Uh, so first off, I do need to say a shout out to all the different sites I sourced images from, uh, which is usually Toy News Eye and Toy Arc. So if you want to see a lot more photos of what you're seeing in this video here, make sure to check out their sites because they have a very, very big photo galleries and I didn't want to take everything from them. But here's a quick look now at one of those new characters we're getting. We're finally getting Junkrat. And uh, this looks really, really great. He's got the tire on his back. Uh, we can't quite see his weapon just yet, but we'll have a better photo of that a little bit later on. But, uh, you know, the great thing about the Overwatch figures is that they have really, really great sculpting and perfect articulation. Like, these are highly playable figures and you can really see it in Junkrat. Uh, now here's uh, a first repaint of the line, or at least the first repaint we're seeing here, and that's uh, we're getting a repainted version of Lucio. Now, granted, this is Overwatch, so of course we're going to get a lot of repaints. That's going to be really one of the things about this line. Repaints, repaints, repaints. So, of course, we're getting Lucio first for whatever reason. Uh, but it's, you know, if you don't like those colors that came out with the first release, you're getting another version. And again, same here with the Farah. Now, uh, the Farah, this is actually the first time she's being released single. She's currently only available in the two-pack with Ana. So now you're going to get a version to get her here. Uh, with a different deco entirely. So this is her red deco, which uh, I personally don't like as much uh, as some of her other outfits. And to be quite fair, I didn't really even like the you know the base blue outfit which came with Anna. Um, I'm waiting still for a different version, but here we're getting now. Uh, this is a reveal. This is Genji. We're getting ourselves, of course, the ninja. So Genji is going to be there, and uh, this is a blue version of Genji. So this is not the normal colors you get with him when you first play the game. This is again a different outfit color. So it's kind of interesting here, and you're going to see this. You know, there's, there's a lot of different colors that are showing off here, and for a lot of new characters, many of which aren't actually what you get when you first open the game. Uh, now here is Zarya that's coming out soon, and uh, this is a really cool-looking figure. I was kind of curious how they were going to end up making her, because her body is very unique in the game, and uh, here in figure form, I don't quite know if they've entirely captured it. At least it's hard to tell from this photo, but it's still pretty good-looking, and in the background you can see a D.Va figure as well. Uh, we've got some more shots of D.Va coming up. In fact, there's one right there. So she's going to have her camera so she can take selfies, and I'm sure she's going to have her guns as well. Now, uh, the question is, will her mech come out at any point soon? And I'm going to assume that if they make D.Va's mech, it's going to be uh, one of the deluxe-style figures, like the Reinhardt that just came out recently. It's going to be like that style. It, it can't be. Really, there's no way it can be done. Uh, you know, in my head, I wanted them to be like Build-A-Figures. That's not going to happen. It looks like anytime soon. But, you know, for now, we got what we got. We at least have D.Va. So here is Hanzo, and there's another Genji, in fact, right next to him. So again, we're seeing uh, some different stuff, and I'm, I'm assuming this might be a two-pack, in fact, perhaps, um, of Genji and Hanzo. So, you know, not entirely sure yet what's going on with those guys, but at the very least, we're getting Hanzo, and we're getting Genji. So we're going to have both of our, our friendly uh, Japanese ninja samurai guys here. They're still, they both look really, really good, i got to say, though. I'm digging the sword, uh, and Hanzo looks really good as well, too. Uh, both characters of which I don't like to really play that much, because reasons but the toys look great uh, i'm actually pretty happy to see them getting the toy treatment finally so they're very excited and hanzo especially because it looks like he's ready to do his finisher so right here we're seeing another reinhardt this uh, i believe is actually a san diego comic-con exclusive of reinhardt and uh he's doing the hammer down which is very very cool so this is the first time we're getting him without the mask as well without his helmet so this is kind of like this green camouflage deco that he's got for him uh you can see the shield next to him as well it's a really cool figure um yeah I i'm I haven't actually bought any of the Overwatch figures yet. I'm still debating on it. Uh, and to be quite honest, I, I probably pass on the one that you can currently find in stores. I'd probably want to buy this Reinhardt if I could find it somewhere. But being that it's an exclusive, may the odds be ever in your favor. But again, very cool looking figure overall. Uh, and any Congoers out there who want to get me one, please feel free to. I'd be so happy if you did. Up next, we're getting McCree. So, voiced by Matthew Mercer in the game. We're getting ourselves a McCree figure. There's another shot of Junkrat, by the way, behind him. You can see that uh, the leg he has, as well as the mine by his foot. Very, very cool. 
And McCree looks really good as well. Now, this is not the best photo. McCree, there's a few other photos you can find on Toy News Eye and other sites. I think we still have one or two more shots in this gallery. But it's a very, very cool figure. Uh, very, very looking forward to getting that one myself. Here's another shot of Junkrat and Zarya. That's Zarya in her base colors this time around. Which I think looks way better than that silver one we just saw before. Um, so, yeah, these are really, really cool looking figures. Uh, the Zarya especially, you can see now, like it, it looks much better from this angle in particular. And just, I think, this color scheme overall. Uh, it's such a unique sculpt, but that, that's like you can see right there. That's a really, really great looking action figure. Uh, if you're an Overwatch fan, you know, and you're passing on these figures, I don't know why you would, but you know, th these are great toys, great items to get. And this is Aria in particular. This this blue scheme just looks so, so, so good. And a lot of the figures come with these. You can see here energy effects. So in turn, the case of Lucio, you can see behind. Uh, he has the rollerblades, Zarya has the blaster. Uh, most of them have some kind of like firing action of some kind. And you saw with Hanzo, he's doing his finishing, his ultimate move with the bow and arrow. Uh, we didn't quite see what Genji has, or, or I may have missed it, because this is, you know, happening quite fast, this whole San Diego Comic Con thing. You know, it's, it's all new to me still, too. I'm, I'm still kind of catching up on things, even though I'm watching them here with you guys. It's almost like my first time seeing them again. Um, here you go. So there you can see this one talking about. McCree has the revolver, he's got the shooting effect coming out of the revolver. And this is the white version of McCree, which I think looks really, really good. And next to him, we have a white version of Tracer. So that's a re-release of Tracer. She came out in Series 1. This time around, we're getting her in the white outfit. And I think they just look both really great in white. Uh, don't know what it is. I just like that clean look of them. Uh, here's a better shot of her. And she has the golden guns as well. So that's kind of cool that her guns are golden in this case. Um, you know, it's a good-looking outfit. And uh, I, I liked the initial release of Tracer. But again, I've passed all these Overwatch figures so far. They just haven't really been getting my fancy yet. I've been waiting to see what other read paints that they do. I think this is probably the Tracer for me. Uh, and same thing with that white McCree. I think those are the ones that I'm going to want to get more than the others. Uh, here's another shot of Junkrat. So you can see he's got a detonator as well as the mine, as well as the grenade launcher. So, you know, I, now I'm wondering if that tire comes off his back or not. I would assume that it does. But for the sake of display, uh, Hasbro has kept it on for now. But I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that that tire does come off. Can you actually roll it around? Be pretty tough, but I think you could. And here's a better shot of Zarya, so you can see her face a little better. And uh, I think Hasbro did an amazing job capturing the video game likenesses of these characters, because they are very stylized and, uh, you know, they're 3D models in the game. But I wasn't sure how good they'd look in action figure form and whether or not that would actually transfer over. Uh, and so looking at them here, I think they, I think they nailed it. I think they did a pretty great job. Here's another shot of Diva, um, and you can see the articulation as well on these characters. Something else I really like about them is, in fact, that articulation, which I mentioned earlier. Uh, you know, Hasbro does the Marvel Legends figures, and with the women in particular, I'm usually not the most keen on how they do their articulation. But uh, with this Overwatch figures, and here Diva especially, like, they're all unique. They all have new sculpts, different sculpts for them, uh, and they look way better. And by the way, we are going to get some props. Uh, this is a Reinhardt hammer now, so we're going to get a full-size hammer. Now, uh, I'm assuming that is going to be for sale. It's not just there for display. Who knows what the case is, but... We do know that Nerf is making Overwatch weapons with, you know, foam missiles and that kind of fun stuff. So I would assume that they're going to be probably making some prop replicas as well of other things, like Reinhardt's Hammer and, maybe, you know, who knows what else they could do. There's, there's some options here. Uh, so here's another shot of the McCree and the Tracer. And, uh, yeah, again, just I like how the bodies look. They're all very unique. They can't just recycle things. Like, I think the Tracer, they actually are recycling some parts from some female Marvel Legends figures. But you can see the Diva, it's totally unique. The Zarya is unique. And everybody else is basically unique. Like, there's not going to be a lot of parts being recycled in this entire line because they're all so different. So, you know, overall, it's a lot of really great stuff. A lot of really good reveals. Uh, I'm overall pretty happy with it. I think the one thing I wish was there and that we're kind of missing here is that there's no really larger scale figures that they showed off, at least as of yet. Um, you know, at, there were some other Overwatch things out there you can find pictures of, in fact, online. But for Hasbro right now, they've not released anything else big yet. And, you know, I'm hoping to see, again, if they have D.Va, where's D.Va's mech? I'd like them to maybe show that off towards the end of the convention. I wouldn't mind seeing Hammond in the Wrecking Machine. Um, you know, there's a few big guys they can still do. Uh, I want to see Roadhog, too, actually. I'm still very curious how they're going to end up doing Roadhog. But for now, this is what we got. But with San Diego Comic-Con still having a few days left, they could still pop out a surprise at any point. So if that does happen, we'll make sure to, review, we'll make sure to uh, update rather the description of this video right here. And we'll let you know what has been updated. And, of course... There will be more videos uh, as we go along, so make sure that you've... As my voice completely dies, because I'm talking so much during these videos, uh, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to this channel to get notifications when we go live and when we post more videos like this. 
because we are going to do a lot more updates. There's a lot more booths to cover, and we'll be doing some live chats during the event as well. So you can talk to us, let us know if we missed anything, help us update things, and we'll kind of cover all the bases that we missed earlier with these videos. Because again, this is just stuff from preview night still. We haven't even seen everything the show has to offer. So there's a lot still to talk about. So I'm Matthew from Nerd News Today. Thanks for watching this video, and please stay tuned for more coverage from us right here on this YouTube channel from SDCC 2019.